I want to be a special educator. An elementary school teacher. An elementary school administrator. A trauma-informed therapist. A dietitian. A behavioral analyst. A college professor. A special educator. I'm Dr. Tommy Turner, Dean of the School of Education. The School of Education here at Jacksonville State University has been one of the most successful preparation institutions for new teachers in the state of Alabama for over 100 years. Uh, every year we produce about as many new teachers as any other institution in the state and that has been consistently true for a long time. JSU uh, has a reputation around the state and certainly in our region for producing first day ready teachers who are ready to go into the classroom and impact student learning wherever they might go. The School of Education, we have a theme, and our theme is world-class standards. So the School of Education is very diverse. We offer, of course, education degrees. We offer advanced degrees for instructional leaders, counselors, both in schools and clinical and mental health. We also have an entire side that's, that's not education, family and consumer sciences, and there we prepare um, people to be um, culinary experts and um, dietetic experts and child development experts and fashion merchandising. So the School of Education is very diverse. We are preparing world-class leaders in all of those fields. So if you're, if you're in with us in a program with us, we're going to help you even though we're here in Alabama, we're here in this regional northeast um, Alabama area, but we are going to prepare you with a global perspective. And you can be the best teacher, the best school administrator, you can be the best um, clinical mental health or school counselor, you can also be um, an expert at culinary and hospitality, fashion merchandising, so whatever you want to do. We have such diverse fields and yet we're preparing everyone for a global stage because we know our students are going to leave us, we want them to go out and be successful in the world. And so everything we do, we put it through that lens. The School of Education has four departments the Department of Curriculum and Instruction, the Department of Secondary Education, the Department of Counseling and Instructional Support, and the Department of Family and Consumer Sciences. Our service units include the Instructional Service Unit, Teacher Education Services, the In-Service Unit at Fort McClellan, and finally, the Clinical Experiences Office. Our department is known for producing excellent elementary, early childhood, and special education teachers. And I mean known across the state. If you ask principals just about anywhere, they love JSU teachers. And I think they feel that those that come from the Department of Curriculum and Instruction are especially strong in many areas. You have to be excited, you have to be ready, you have to be passionate about it, prepared, um, and that way when you get in the classroom you can be the best you can be for them and um, show them that you're there for them and you care for them and you want them to feel safe and actually enjoy coming to school and most importantly they need to learn. There's a class for everything when you take the special ed thing. There's even an autism class that you get to take. They have several workshops that you go to and I mean the knowledge between everybody in the School of Education and they all come together and help you it's it's second to none in my opinion and it's so far has been the best thing that's a, that has happened to me in the School of Education. I chose JSU just because of the special education program is actually a pretty close-knit program. I only have 10 people in my cohort. My professors know my name. They know my strengths. They know my weaknesses. I feel more comfortable at JSU just because of um, the closeness that I get to experience with my professors and the hands-on experience I get to have here. Some good advice that I would give somebody that would want to join my program is to have an open heart, not just to the learning, but to all the students, because you don't just learn from the teachers. You learn from all the students you have during the practicums. I am Dr. Emily Sims. I'm the department head for secondary education. I think students should consider attending classes in our department because we provide an environment that is nurturing, not just from an academic sense, but also from a social and personal sense. Uh, our faculty are very committed to our students, are invested in them, not just in an academic perspective, but also as students and citizens in our country. We have high standards 
uh, because we want to make sure again they are really prepared and they will be successful teachers and based on that we are working so hard to make sure that they are meeting these standards uh, so they expect uh, a lot of work but at the same time they should expect a lot of support and help to make sure that they are successful and they are really prepared to be uh, teacher leaders in their schools, not just teachers. Hate or love an entire subject made me realize how powerful a teacher can be. So I decided to go into education and I chose JSC because they are highly rated, they're accredited. Um, a lot of teachers in Alabama or in my county alone come from JSU. So I knew there was something connecting all these people together and it was JSU. My name is Dr. Melanie Drake Wallace, and I'm the Department Head of Counseling and Instructional Support. Teaching counseling skills is not for the faint of heart. It's very, it takes hours and hours of practice, but the best part is the very moment when a student comes in and makes a, a real authentic connection with the client, and for students, the very first time they do that, that's really a transformational moment for them and for the client. JSU's program is unique because you get the experiential part um, as well as the knowledge, but really what it comes down to is getting to process um, those experiences that you have outside of the classroom and then come back into the classroom and discuss with your professor, like, do I need to improve in this area? tell me how this interaction can be modified or altered, and then they just give you their feedback, and it's, it's always constructive. I'm Dr. Kimberly Warfield, an assistant professor in the Instructional Leadership Program. Our Instructional Leadership Program is all online. In addition to being all online, we um, have a variety of instructors uh, that serve in different capacities and also provide a variety of practical learning experiences from uh, current superintendents, retired superintendents, current practicing principals, as well as faculty members that have experiences in a wide variety of diverse settings. My name is Dr. Diane Best. I am a professor in the Department of Family and Consumer Sciences. I like being faculty. I like the idea of having the ability to change somebody's life. The thing about hospitality and culinary is in order for you to be successful, you have to be hospitable because that's the nature of the business. So in every class that I teach, I make sure that I not only teach them about how to cook something, but I also teach them how to be hospitable. That's not something that is specific to what I do. It is, it, it, it is, one of those tools that you can use anywhere you go. So um, I try to teach people how to be of service to others. Sometimes there's no benefit to yourself. Or how to be hospitable just because it's the right thing to do. So we learn a lot of life, we learn a lot of life lessons along with um, learning how to make something to eat. They don't, they don't teach you as if you like you know everything. Like there's some people that have come from cooking backgrounds, people that have cooked in high school and this and that and the third, but they start from like the very fundamentals of like, you know, cutting things or mixing things. They, they don't expect you to know how to boil water, so they teach you that. I think the facilities, they are extremely nice. Um, one thing that I didn't expect when coming here to JSU, I know we have our very own industrial sized kitchen. So it's basically a kitchen that you would see in any other restaurant. My name is Jill Marsh and I'm the director of the Cynthia H. Harper Child Study Center in Family and Consumer Sciences. We provide services for the young children who come to our preschool. We provide um, a service for our students who attend Jacksonville State University so that they can work with children and get some hands-on experience. Um, a lot of our students want to go on to become young teachers for young children. Um, and we also provide a service for families for our community because our children who attend our preschool come from the community, whether it be um, faculty or employees' children or um, maybe they're children of students or also um, from people who are not affiliated with JSU but just live nearby. I felt my calling to go into child development uh, my sophomore year of college. Um, I had planned to be a teacher all my life and I love working with kids um, and I wanted to do uh, kids with autism so I kind of felt led to go into child development so I could further my career after JSCU. 
My name's Brandi Russell. I am the Director of the Instructional Services Unit. The Instructional Services Unit offers a wide variety of services for our students as well as the general public. We have a tutoring department in our Teacher Learning Center. We have a resource center in our Learning Resource Center and we have the Tech Cafe. The Tech Cafe is a workshop for our teacher candidates to attend technology workshops so that they can get a chance to practice technology integration strategies um, so that they can do technology strategies in their lessons when they're classroom teachers. We are a service center to the department. So the departments actually work with the students um, to make sure that they are enrolled in the correct classes and then once the students are enrolled in the classes, we um, take that information and get the information from the departments as far as what the requirements are for those field placements then I match that with a teacher out in the schools. And um, most of my work is done servicing the departments on behalf of the students. For intern, we place, make placements for internship as well. And we do prepare them for that out of our office. We do a, just to help educate them on when to apply for internship. We do an application meeting, an internship application meeting um, for all of the students that are on track to internship the next semester and then we also do an internship orientation with all the students just to let them know what their internship their requirements are go over the handbook go over the the state requirements um, that's their last semester of school and they do a full semester in the schools from bell to bell so there's a lot more involvement with the students um, on that part of the placement okay the biggest attribute of teacher education services is that we are there for the students. We work daily answering questions, providing information about eligibility, uh, testing requirements, internship, certification, and um, you know we will assist freshmen as they come into the um, university who dream to be a teacher and help them get started in the program so that they can fulfill their dreams. We work with graduate students who want to change careers, current teachers who want to upgrade their certification and um, or get a new certification in a new program. And we also work with teachers that are currently certified that need to renew their certification. So we we will help them out in any way possible. If we don't have the answers for them, we'll get the answers for them. Well, the student's ultimate goal is to graduate from their program and be certified so they can teach in their prospective teaching field. Um, we assist them in meeting that goal. Although we don't issue certification, we do help them by uh, recommending and submitting their application to the State Department um, of Education. The students, many times after they're certified, will want to come in and upgrade their certification to the master's level or maybe ultimately the educational specialist level. We're there to assist them in any way we can to see them, help them achieve their goals. The JSU Regional in Service Center uh, has a primary mission of providing high quality professional development to teachers that are in the field and we do that through uh, coaching support, we do that through modeling best practices and we offer professional learning uh, sessions for teachers throughout the year, uh, particularly in the summer and we also house some State Department programs where our specialists go out into the field to directly support and help our teachers. Uh, in addition to that, we also work collaboratively with the State Department of Education. We um, uh, work with something called the Alabama Reading Initiative to provide uh, support in the science of reading for teachers as they try to implement the Literacy Act that was passed recently by the legislature. Following graduation, uh, if you're a teacher, you do now have several sources of professional learning, professional development, uh, and we're one of those. We offer it free of charge. Uh, we're there to support those teachers as they grow uh, in their craft. Uh, as new things are implemented, new uh, requirements are passed down by either the State Department of Education or the legislature, we help 
support them in their efforts to enact those, all with the purpose of trying to raise student achievement. So we have several groups that run out of the in-service center. Um, the service that I provide is uh, technology training through Alabama Technology in Motion. And I go out and do customized training to teachers on how to integrate technology, which has become very important in the last few months as many of our teachers have gone virtual or remote. The most rewarding part of working for the Regional In-Service Center is the partnership that we have with the School of Education. Um, I personally had some opportunities to do some training with School of Education professors so that they could better prepare the pre-service teachers as they're going to be going out into our schools in the state of Alabama and teaching students. The purpose for the Center for Cyber Education is to be a repository and outreach for administrators and pre and in-service teachers with, res with regards to curriculum policy and practice in the field of cyber education. Technology is more than just turning on your iPhone and making a call. There's a lot of moving components, and it's now up to our teachers to give the P-12 students that level of understanding and good habits, both as a digital citizen, as well as good habits and skills in, in certain aspects of computer science and technology, so that when they do come to college or they do go into a career, they have the fundamentals necessary to move forward and become whatever it is that they desire. So the Center for Cyber Education is looking into that. The purpose um, for the Center for Autism Studies is provide professional development opportunities for regional teachers and teachers within our in-service region here in this part of the state of Alabama. And we also had a, have a lot of activities that we do with our pre-service teachers um, that help to, to um, advocate and educate uh, the campus community here at JSU and um, just various things that our students that are in the teacher preparation program participate in. We have, uh, we have a lot of collaboration uh, between the various programs within our School of Education. We have many instructors that are involved that have past experience in working with students uh, with autism spectrum disorder. We have uh, a lot of things going on within our classrooms with this collaborative effort between uh, professors and the School of Education in preparing all candidates, teacher candidates, to work with students with autism spectrum disorder. I would say that number one, uh, if a student wants to come to JSU or is considering coming to JSU, I would say number one, we have a 100% employment uh, rate. That is, if you finish at JSU, you're going to be highly desirable by a lot of different school systems. You're going to be able to get a job because you're a JSU graduate and they believe in what we're doing in preparing new teachers. The second thing is you're going to meet a faculty who is experts and recognized experts in the field. Many of our faculty participate on statewide committees. We are often called upon by the State Department of Education to add expertise or to evaluate things. This is our faculty and they're good. And so if a student wants to be on the cutting edge of what's happening in education in the state of Alabama, they need to come to JSU. They need to come to JSU because the institution places a high priority on education. JSU began as a preparatory school for teachers. And so it's always been at the forefront of the reason for this university's existence, though we're very much more diverse than that now, it still lays at the foundation, lies at the foundation of why we exist as a university. So JSU has a long-standing teacher education tradition. If you want to be a part of something like that, come to JSU.